Hey what's up you guys it's Forge here and today we are looking at the top 10 vanilla enhancing mods for Minecraft 1.12.2. Hope you guys enjoyed and let's get into the video. So at number 10 we have back tools. As you can see here I have a sword in my hand. This isn't really a game enhancing mod more of a cool kind of thing just added to the game so just swap my thing to a pick oh and look my swords on my back i just think this is a pretty cool mod guys it doesn't really do much to the game just adds a little aspect of coolness to the game and then if you swap that you see you get the pick get the axe pick sword so yeah this doesn't work with tinker's construct tools though which i was kind of disappointed with but that is back tools in a nutshell pretty much so guys the next one at number nine is hats the hats mod as you can see this pig is wearing a brain cloud over his head it basically adds a lot of hats that mobs and yourself can wear now these hats are pretty cool. You press the H key and you can get all of these types of hats like that. All of these guys, you can get players. You can get like creepier ones. You can get a Bane mask. Also, if you wanna remove the hat, you just press the remove hat button. If you press that, you're done. I have a Bane mask on. So yeah, and also you can color the hat so you can change the color of it. Be like invisible whatnot you can make it like kind of like faded solid whatnot and you just press done there and you got that you can select a random hat from your list with this button you can set a favorite to say I like this guy I can favorite him I do believe if I press a button to favorite him you can um, how do I favor a hat? Hmm. That would have been a good thing to know. Um, uh, you can shift right click on this. Um, the next thing we have is categories. It will sort into categories. Um, so you have like contributors, hat pack one, whatnot. You can have personalized. You can change that to you can change the GUI to H first person yes no so I can see it now in first person or something like a so I'm not actually sure what that does um, can do show hats no on like the pigs and stuff as you saw over there this button I did something bad Okay, uh, reload all hats as we'll discard all changes basically and yeah and the next thing we have down in the bottom left is trade with nearby players you can click on this and obviously you select the player to trade with I have no player to trade with because I'm all alone in this world and I'm sad and you select the hat they select the hat and you can trade hats if you're within a certain area of them so that is the hats mod Okay guys, so the next thing we have is the item physics mod. This is a kind of cool little game changing mod. Again, has no real use, but just give item physics. So when they're lying on the ground, they're not floating. They're just lying down as if they were on the ground. You also get this nice cool tossing effect and all items just lie on the ground like that. And it looks kind of cool. It looks a lot better than the vanilla floating blocks. So yeah, that's basically the rule there is to it. I'm currently using the light version because the full version crashes for some reason. Not sure if that's a problem with my installation or the mod. But there's a light version which I'm assuming is more lightweight and compatible with mods. So yeah, that is item physics. Okay guys, so the next mod we have is at number six i believe item physics was number seven i don't know if i said that or not but at number six we have the 
inventory tweaks mod and this takes if you go into any inventory i do believe any inventory i'm not sure if it's true with furnaces you have a kind of that can go you have these buttons up here and this changes it alphabetically so into columns so into rows and then you press this and you can change the setting so Pair friendly refill replaces tools just before they break, so you can turn that on. And if you have a pickaxe and it's about to break, then it replace it breaks. It replaces it with another one. Um, so it has shortcuts like the R button, obviously, and all of these. You can pause the video and read it now. Um, auto refill on replaces broken tools and empty stacks, so you probably don't want that on. You middle click on this allows sorting so if i throw this stuff into the chest i can sort by column row whatnot if i middle click it'll put it back to the default sorting and there's a lot more things like so and it just kicked me off the screen because it opened something don't press those buttons and you have more options so you can turn sound off sort sort on pickup so sorts the hot bar sorts things basically chest buttons you can turn them on and off and yeah auto equip armor so you can equip the best available armor and whatnot and this is also true with the droppers and other inventories with any mod basically you can do it with iron chests i'm pretty sure it works with the furniture mod and yeah other mods like that Okay guys, let me just go slightly quickly, time set zero, and the next thing we have is at number five, and that is the SNAD mod. This adds two new blocks to the game, SNAD and Red SNAD. Yes, you might think I'm going insane, I, when I first discovered this mod I was like, SNAD, is that just sound spelt wrong, because it was in like some trolley mod pack or whatever on YouTube. But no, it is actually useful. This mod is higher than the other ones because it's got a use, so do the rest of the mods now, basically. The other ones are more static. But this snad essentially allows sugar cane to grow faster on it. So if we put that here, and we have sand here, and we have sugar cane. This can be really hard to show, but you know, I haven't got water. Oopsie. So I can't actually remember which side the snad was. This is sand. So we'll put a sign saying sand. Sand. Done. Snad. Done. And we're just going to leave that like a so. And you'll see the snad should grow faster. But if this goes wrong, I will be sad. You can also make red snad just in case. To make the snad, you just put two pieces of sand like so. And it at makes you one snad same with the red snad so yeah that's kind of cool if you ask me and we're just gonna time lapse this until the snad grows <laughs> And as you guys can see, the snad grew after probably about two boring minutes. <laughs> yeah, but you see, the snad grew it faster, as I predicted, and that was not by chance. And if you guys think it was, you're just going to have to believe me, because it's true. Okay, and moving on. Okay, guys, so the next one's a pretty quick mod, and this is at number four five four five couldn't tell you five so the last one was number six and i am really bad so that is the fast leaf decay mod this is a useful mod just because of the convenience of it so if we break this tree the tree falls down really fast and combined with the item physics makes a pretty cool thing and this works with all trees sapling let's grab a taller sapling let's grab a dark oak because that shouldn't take too long bone meal let's we'll plant a four by four of these dudes 
We'll just punch out all the wood. I, I would do a jungle tree, but I think I'll pass on punching that guy down. As you see, it went very quickly. And I am losing track of what numbers I'm on, and I really should have numbered my list so I could just read it off. But yeah, that is the Fast Leaf Decay mod at number 5. Okay guys, so the next mod we have is the Ore Excavation mod, slash Vein Miner mod. I'm using Ore Excavation just because it ha allows you to excavate more things. I'm hoping this works on sand. It really doesn't. What does it work on? Actually, what's the control? <laughs> um... Or excavation, excavate. It's normally grave. I'm going to change it to backslash just because that is my preferred button to use. That's going to be H, even though hats is H, but we've done that. And if I do this, we get, we dig an area of sand out. Not sure actually how big the area is, but it's pretty good. This also uses a lot of hunger. You also get this with cobblestone with or vein miner. You can't, you lose hunger. No, uh, you can't actually do this with stone and sand unless you change some config settings, but you can do this with ores, so you can get the ores that were supposed to be buried underneath a thing somewhere or something. But yeah, it's kind of a useful mod in at number four, I do believe. So yeah, it's just a useful mod if you ask me. So yeah, that is all excavation. It also works with trees and axes, and you can also do leaves. That's why this ranks above fast leaf decay, because it is just useful, I guess. Um, okay, I've just messed up. Now at number three is one of the three mods I deem most useful in any Minecraft play through i guess playing in minecraft yeah and that's it number three we have the one probe which is a redo of wyla which doesn't have as many like thing um options and stuff in 1.8 plus so i prefer the one probe it actually adds some items like this thing which basically gives you And you can move where the tooltip is. You can change all the styles and the scale of everything. You can change it to Wyler, default, full transparent, black and white style. I prefer the default, you can change the size of it. And yeah, and then you also have these helmets, which I'm not actually sure what they do, to be honest with you. I'm gonna check the controls for one pro, anything with the one probe. Um, visibility toggle, let's go K and liquid view, P, P, actually we'll go middle, no, we'll go this click, and if we toggle liquid view, then we can see this is water, and obviously if you had other mods installed, and then with K you can turn it on and off, or whatever the button is as default, which I don't actually remember. And this hat, I'm not actually sure what it does. And you also have this one probe read me that you get at the beginning, which you can read yourself. So yeah, that is the one probe. Next, we have one, two, there's, there's three mods. I just showed you the one probe. The next we have is journey map. This is the best map mod I have found. It's better than MapBrite, and MapBrite tends to delete your waypoints and stuff. And if you press J, it'll bring up a big map of where you've been, basically. You can create waypoints. I'm not actually sure what the default key is. I always change mine to zero, but it's normally B, but I change mine to zero. If you press that button, you can create a waypoint here. You can name it here or whatever and you can find this waypoint anywhere in the world if you go into mini map you click on waypoints as well if you have cheats on you can teleport otherwise you can find it on the map uh, you can turn it off on the map you can remove it you can edit it you can send it to chat um 
you have options you can change the if you can see animals show if it's day or night entity names you can just change all sorts of things full screen map you can turn things off web map i don't know what web map is but you can create death points enable waypoint manager so yeah there's just a lot of things you can turn waypoint beacons on so you can see beacons in the world you can make it rotating beam you can make it not show name there's just there's so many things you can do with it I don't actually know what that is. I don't know all of these options, but you guys can just have a look through them. You can also change the UI to different UI themes. I just like the default one, if I'm honest. Um, you can delete this map. You can save map, which takes a screenshot of the map. You can automatically explore regions. And it'll just, this will fill out. This is only in single player though. And th this could probably lag you out a bit. If you ever haven't got really a good computer, you can disable mapping, whatnot. You can change the cave mode if you're underground. You can show mobs, show animals, blah, blah, blah. Show grid, don't show grid. And whatnot. This, this, there's just a lot. You can change it to nighttime, daytime, change the topography, you can change it to daytime, cave layers. There's just so much you can do. You can click follow to find yourself. So if you're all the way over here, if, say, I can just press that. I can zoom into the map, zoom out. There's also all the keys here that you're going to need. And also, the most useful thing I find is if I do this, go onto the map. I can see my death and I can go to it and there might be a mod called the waypoint compass but this is way easier to follow because it tells you how far away you are as you can see there 30 16 whatever meters and also just if you don't want that you can just press remove if you're embarrassed of your deaths and my screen seems to have frozen so that is journey map mod and finally Despite the recipe book being added in the newer versions of Minecraft, this is still way more useful than the recipe book. If I come on to the, oh, if I turn it to daytime and get away from these creepers and stuff, probably go sit on top of this guy. We have the JEI mod, just enough items. There are lots of add-ons for this. You can add on banners, harvest craft, bees, Thorncraft, there's just so many add-ons, you just scroll through, you can see all the mods are installed, and you can do at um, the one probe, so you can specify a mod, you can change your config, so center search bar, true, item hiding mode, true I guess, cheating mode on, search options, and you can just change all of these. <laughs> Can pull things out of here now. I have it on cheat mode. Can do what I want. And if I go into survival and I press the book, it should replace this book, but it doesn't right now. So I don't know if that's in a later version. Well, it can't be. This is 1.12.2. But yeah, JEI is just useful if you have a load of mods. It also shows you crafting recipes. So if I press R, or if I didn't have cheat mode on, just left clicked on it, it would show me how to make a block of diamond or say I have wooden planks what do I how do I what what can I make with it if I press U it'll show me all the things I can make with it, it shows me all it, I can use it as fuel it shows me I can use it to repair wind tools which I didn't actually know you could do in an anvil and a shield um, if I press U or right click on it which doesn't work in cheat mode but yeah, you can search for um, iron bars if you need them, see how to craft them, even though vanilla recipe is kind of easy. This is very useful in a modded world, but it's also probably one of the most useful mods, and that's why it ranks as number one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this top 10 vanilla enhancing mods. They're kind of cool mods if you ask me, and I think you guys should definitely check them out. Um, so if you guys enjoyed or found this helpful, please leave a like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.
बाय